my hair okay? Probably not. Do I look handsome? Always. Is my beard on point? What are the kids saying these days? On fleek? fleek? I don't know if they still say no. that. No. Drip? No, that's this your clothes. No. That's your clothes and stuff. My clothes drip? No. Is that how you use it? I have no idea. Well, guys, welcome back to Feel It's Family Fun. Why did you whisper it? You didn't, I was mouthing it. Why? So, I've been watching so many videos. A lot of you guys make coquito. 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 Just correct me. I'm not, I'm, just, I'm the furthest away from Puerto Rican you can imagine, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, my brother in law, however, is Puerto Rican, and every Christmas, he always brings over a bottle for us, and we usually drink it before the night is over. I mean, we share it with him, but luckily he always brings a spare, <laughs> and that goes in the fridge and uh, gives us a drink for the rest of the holidays. So, um... We're going to try to make it ourselves. These European and English mutt... I'm a mutt. ...are going to try to make a Puerto Rican drink. So... Follow a recipe. I've got a recipe here from the Google, and uh, I noticed there's a couple of different variations. Some people use eggs, some people don't. Uh, a lot of what I was reading I don't said, want eggs. yeah, me either. No. Said if you're gonna put eggs, you might as well make eggnog. And the whole reason we wanted to make this is because hey girl, hey. We hey, wanted girl, hey. this. Emma's here now. Emma's here in her Christmas jams. Um. I see we have most of the ingredients here, except for the most important. Oh, I left, I left the most important one over there. Oh, you. Yep. you can hang with us. All right. So, there we go. Oh, and the one the chair? Okay. Yeah, Emma's gonna, chair. Emma's gonna hang with us. So you can actually, you can help us, because I see that these things, they shake well on them, and they've oh. not been shaken. Do you know okay. anyone that can shake these cans? Me. Shake them up. Okay, if you guys like, we'll uh, we'll post the recipe in that the description we that we use, and uh, some of our Puerto Rican uh, watchers and subscribers yeah. that subscribe to us uh, can comment below and let us know the little tweaks that you guys do. Uh, we don't have any fresh vanilla bean, no. which seems to be an important thing. No, we just have this imitation nonsense. Yes. Well, no, I mean, it's not imitation. It says pure vanilla extract, at least. But it's store brand. I don't know if that's important. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... I'll tell you what is important, though, that you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Yeah, don't forget the bell so you know every time we post a new video. What oh. do I do here? Okay, step one. Uh, log back into your computer. <laughs> right, always step one. Okay. Log back into your computer. Okay, I'll log back Place the sweetened condensed milk, cream of coconut, evaporated milk, coconut milk, vanilla, cinnamon sticks, and nutmeg. All the ingredients except for the rum in a large saucepan. How much sweetened condensed? Okay, uh, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Okay. One 15 ounce can cream of coconut. Check. One 12 ounce can of evaporated milk. Uh -oh. I only have 10 ounces of evaporated milk. I think we'll be okay. See, already we failed. <laughs> uh, one 13 and a half ounce can of coconut milk. Check. Uh, two teaspoons vanilla yeah, or one whatever. vanilla bean split and seeded. Yeah, yeah. Two whole cinnamon sticks. Oh, we got lucky there. Oh man, I only have two left. Okay, uh, half a teaspoon grated nutmeg. I, I have that. Okay. Uh, okay, so just like start pouring stuff in the pot? Yeah. It's easy, I can do that. This stuff is strange looking. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever used cream of coconut before. I touched something sticky. We're making a drink. Well, the kids want to come help us make the booze. 
The adult drink. <laughs> so I'll say I'll drink it, I guess I can help. Come on up, sweetie. Today was pajama day at school, their last day of school before break, so that's why they're all in their jammies. Shake it up, baby. Shake it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, baby now. <laughs> you okay? Okay, go ahead, pour that in. I am sticky. Is that normal? Are you sticky? <laughs> no? Up. Not gonna buy it again, huh? So I have a teaspoon? No way. Oh. Well, I'm more than that. Listen, I'm going, I'm going. Da, 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 da. Not the whole thing. <laughs> well, let's see, let me push it out. Do you think that was half a teaspoon though? No. Alright, I'll have to get a new one because I'm not touching this one now. Here, give me. What are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna rinse it. Oh, well, I'm still not using it. Oh, the way it smells. Mm. Yeah. It's it a nut. Good, right? It's a nut. Meg. Yeah, you're telling me to keep going, but nutmeg's not your favorite spice. So. And some vanilla, right? Yeah, you need uh, the teaspoon. But he's going to get the teaspoon. See, it's the problem Look, with me. That's half a teaspoon. You did not grind that. Much. I cook. And when I cook, I don't measure a thing. I just throw it in the pot. But when I try to do something with a recipe, it just doesn't end well. Because I don't like to measure. Again? <laughs> it's like a comedy show here. What? What? There's on my head. Yeah, there is something on your head. I got it off now. Is that for the vanilla? Half a teaspoon of vanilla? No. Uh, you need two teaspoons, so you have to do that. Uh, four times. All right, you better hold it level, kids. Don't be messing up mommy and daddy's beverage. Oh! So that's three. All right, so that's one. <laughs> Careful. Careful, mommy. Oh, my. Two. Come on, one more. 13,000. Ah! Oh, Good thing I like vanilla. This is going to be, this is going to be something. Okay. I hope it tastes good. And any cinnamon, any ground cinnamon, or just the sticks? Uh, just the two whole cinnamon sticks. The ground cinnamon is for garnish, okay. optional. Okay, then I think that's all. Okay. All right, do I drink it now? Oh wait, no, there's no booze in it. No, you can move that to the booze in here. To the stove. Let me get a close up in here. See, he's got it all mixed up. Guys, again, let us know if this is even looking correct. <laughs> right, see? It doesn't matter as long as it tastes good. That's true. It's in your hair. Oh, that's uh... That's the mommy daddy juice that you can't have. Right. All right, Britt. Put it on the stove. All right, here we go. Excuse me, Cecilio. Why can't we even have Because it has something called alcohol in it. And you can't have that. What am I doing, boiling it or...? Uh, you're going to just bring it to a simmer. Okay. So it infuses everything. It says warm over medium high heat until just starting to simmer and then remove the heat, cover, and let it infuse for 30 minutes. Oh jeez. What are those chunks? Is that normal? The coconut chunks? You're asking me? Uh-huh. I don't know. Guys, it looks like we're chunking over here. <laughs> chunking up. We're chunking up. Well, there's a, oh, like white chunks in there. Just keep stirring it with the whisk, maybe. Not over here. Well, it is a fire. Oh, uh, it's been chilling overnight, and it's real thick, like. Oh, it is. Let me see. Yeah, it was a little. I haven't looked at it. It had like a skin on top, which I guess um, you would expect for milk. So I just. I, don't know. I mean, that's very thick. Yeah. Well, we're gonna add our rum now. Okay. And I saw a bunch of different. Uh, recipes that call for different amounts. Um, uh, whatever amount you found, are you gonna like double or? No, the way I figure, I'm gonna follow the recipe. <laughs> okay. And then what I like to do is I like spice rum. So sometimes if it's not strong enough, I'll add a little bit of like a spice rum floater on top when I make my own out of the bottle. But yeah, I feel bottles, I feel like you were disappointed when I came home with white rum, but that's what the recipe said. No, it's fine. 
So this recipe says one and a half cups. So I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. It is clear. The girls are here too. <laughs> is that good? Ah, uh, good enough, right? Well, that you said one and a half, and that's almost two. One and a half. Oh, okay. I'm gonna add in our. We're just gonna make a curdle. Uh, that's what I'm always afraid of. Well, that's why I'm mixing it, but it does. It looks like it's thinning it out nicely. It's not curdling though. No. Oh, it's separating a little bit, but I mean, that's why I shake the bottle before you pour it, right? Everything kind of settles. Oh, yeah. That is the good stuff. So I don't know how many bottles it's going to fill up, but we cleaned up one of our... Uh, a wine bottle and... Our cream liqueur. Our that, cream liqueur that we got in Tennessee on our trip to Alabama, but on the way home we stopped in Tennessee. Okay, so my hands are clean, so I'm gonna take these cinnamon sticks because they don't. Oh, they have come anymore, out. And I'm gonna put it in the bottle. Oh, ah, smart, smart. There's another one. Here we go. Two bottles, two cinnamon sticks. Boop. The other big problem I have is I don't have a funnel. We don't own a funnel. <laughs> oh, you're gonna put it in there. Well, don't scoop it like that. Okay, I'm gonna try pouring it. I'm gonna try pouring it in here. Pour it in there, and then that thing has a spout. Probably have better luck with Tip that, at least. Take me over and pour me out. Oh. Let's see. Oh. Let's see how bad I do this. <laughs> Daddy, you can do this. You can do this. I can do it. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Focus. I'm focused. <laughs> Mama's trying to mess me. You can do this. So steady. Like the hands of a surgeon. This is the most steady I've ever been. Oh, because you don't want to spill it. Can you taste it though? What if you're bottling some nasty swill? Nasty swill. <laughs> you first. Cheers. Tastes good. But? It's, it's thick though. Oh, gross. I mean. We warmed it up, I imagine, when we cooked it a bit. Who wants like a thick? It's like eggnog. Eggnog is thick. I guess. Can I taste it? Yeah. Yeah, taste it. It's a fancy glass you have there. <laughs> Make fun of my cup. <laughs> it's the appropriate size for me. Wow, that's thick. We can add more rum to thin her out. Rum, some ice. Ice, yeah, over ice. Uh, and I feel like, like I want salt in it. Is that weird? That is weird. Like it's too sweet. All right, so that, that's our coquito, huh? Yeah, that's it. Like I said, guys. Daddy. What? Okay. Look at him. He's like, why are you ratting on me? Yeah, snitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, like I said, uh, I like to add some spice rum on the top of mine. Let me know what you guys like to put on yours, how you guys drink yours. Do you drink it with ice? Do you like it more warm? I don't know. Tell us. I hope you enjoyed watching us try to make this holiday beverage. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit and the bell button. <laughs> and poop. Emma always likes to add the poop at the end. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye! Say bye-bye. Bye-bye! No, bye-bye from Maxie today. <laughs>